Kamavinga. Get down, <laughs> Ten Pin. Get in your home.
Hey you guys, it's Frank the Tank and that was the Hyped Pearl and Hyped Hybrid. So uh, we'll talk about the Hyped Hybrid first. Um, so this ball, in uh, in my opinion, was uh, very similar to the Uproar. I can't believe I'm going back to that again because uh, uh, if you guys saw the Trend 2 video, I, I compared the Trend 2 to the Uproar as well. And uh, that's honestly r ridiculous because uh, the Trend 2 and the Hyped Hybrid are both uh they both have hybrid covers and uh the uproar is a pearl cover so i think it's kind of crazy that uh that that's the comparison that i'm going with but i'm going with it so um yeah i mean the ball um it carries down the lane like if it like if it had a pearl cover to it however it doesn't have that late response like a pearl cover but you know it has that very snappy response um and it, it to me it, it just has that uproar kind of shape the only big thing here that i will say that differs from it is um the trend two uh i would put at the top as obviously being the most aggressive uh the uproar would be the step down from the trend two and then uh just when i didn't think it was possible it is possible the hyped hybrid would be the step down from the uproar so if you were looking for a step down from that voila there it is so I know it didn't really look like it, uh, but uh, believe it or not, I wasn't playing too far left to even begin with. I think I was only standing on like board 18 or 17. Uh, so yeah, I was left of the middle dot. No, not left, right of the middle dot, actually, sorry. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, despite the fact that it does look like it's pretty snappy on the back end, it's really not, uh, not you know, too much. And that's a good thing, obviously. So yeah. Um, uh, now, I guess, uh, go into the Hyped Pearl. So, major, major difference, which is obviously a good thing. You never want two of the same thing, right? So, uh, I, I can't remember the names of the two covers on these two bowling balls, but uh, they do definitely make these two bowling balls look different from each other. And I'm not just talking about the colors. Uh, the Hyped Pearl, it carries down the lane uh, a, a lot further than the Hyped Hybrid, and it doesn't snap. You guys can see that it, it uh, responds late, and then it has a much rounder shape. And um, I don't know that I could compare it to anything, because I really don't know what to compare it to. But... Um, Despite the fact that I scored lower with the Hyped Pearl, which to me was quite stunning because you guys know how I feel about my Pearl covers. I love them a lot more than a solid and hybrid, but uh, despite the fact that I scored lower here, um, I felt like I ha uh, could maintain control uh, a lot better with the Hyped Pearl than I did the Hyped Hybrid because uh, uh, for the, if I didn't make it clear enough already, I've said it plenty of times, uh, that snappy kind of reaction like you saw on the Hyped Hybrid, it's it's not my thing. I don't like that. I mean, um, I, I, I like it on the Uproar and the Trend too, but you know, on this uh, Hyped Hybrid, it was a little bit difficult. Uh, and uh, part of that reason was because it gave off that kind of shape and also because I'm not very good at tightening my angles, you know, being so far uh, to the right side of the lane, it, uh, even though I'm still trying to practice doing that. I mean, um, I know it, like to some, some of you, you'll probably be like, what are you talking about? You still did a great job. I know, but I, I, st I just uh, don't feel like I did. And... Um, I'm sure any of you out there it can probably relate, like when you feel like uh, you bowled like crap, but you still put up some decent scores. That was me. That was me out there with this one. So, um, yeah, uh, with the Hyped Pearl, um, I felt like it was easier to play at my normal pace with that ball, but when it came to hooking the entire lane, that's where it just didn't work out. So, uh, and then with the Hyped Hybrid, it's kind of like a switcheroo there. Uh, with uh, playing at my normal pace, I didn't really like it all that much, but when it came to hooking the entire lane, it came in clutch. And uh, the clear evidence for this one was that 241 that I got. And, you know, it kind of surprises me that, uh, to, like, realize this now that uh, there were, I couldn't really string along strikes uh, too good with these. Uh, the only uh, one where I, sh you know, put a lot of strikes together was at 241. Uh, uh, so that was uh, pretty crazy that you didn't uh, really hear Hambone or uh, Five Bagger or anything like that in this one a lot. Uh, I guess that uh, part of that reason is because of where I had to be uh, when I was uh, using these two. Like I said, I was like on 17 and 18 uh, with these two pieces. 
So to conclude, I would say that these two bowling balls uh, would be perfect for you, in, in my opinion at least, based on what I saw. It, they would be perfect for you if you're looking to move a step up from low performance bowling balls like the Hustle series. That is low performance right there. So uh, these would be, uh, uh, based on the, the reaction that these things gave, um, they would be a step up from the Hustle series. Uh, so I guess we'll call them mid-performance. Uh, because they're definitely not upper mid performance. I, I can tell you that right now. So um, yeah, I would put them in between uh, upper mid and low performance. So that's where these bowling balls, I think, would sit. Uh, they, so yeah, if you're looking to move a, a step up from the Hustle series, the Hyped series is the next step up from that. But I recommend that you probably start with the Hyped Pearl first, since it uh, doesn't really, uh, it, it, at least from again from what I saw, it doesn't give off that aggressive, a snappy reaction like the hybrid did, and uh, it carries down the lane a little bit further. So start with that first, and then once you feel like you got the hang of that, then move to the hyped hybrid since it has that more snappy type of back end to it. Um, so yeah, if you're an entry level, uh, which is like in my opinion another word of for saying beginner level move to the hustle series and then after you're done with the hustle series and you feel you've got the hang of that you move to the hype series so that's where i feel the these bowling balls would fit and uh yeah that's really where i uh, stand on that one so that was the hyped pearl and hyped hybrid i hope you guys enjoyed that little comparison Oh, I don't know if I would call it a comparison, to be honest. All it really was was me just throwing them and seeing what we saw and my thoughts on it. So I don't know if we can call that a comparison, but there it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm Frank the Tank. That's the Hyped Hybrid, Hyped uh, Pearl. And um, the next video, uh, I think, I, I, if, I'm, if I didn't say that, I don't know if I said it in my last video. I think the next one is going to be the Idle Synergy Part 2, just so I can get that one out of the way. And also to give myself a little bit of time to prepare the Electrify Solid. And also, um, I, I uh, once I get my hands on the Idle Helios and the Rubicon UC3, which everybody's been putting their reviews out there already, I unfortunately don't have that easy access to them like they all do. So we're going to have to wait quite a bit for that. But uh, yeah, uh, all I need is just a little bit of time. So uh, you guys are going to be seeing some Idle Synergy Part 2. And if I need a little bit more time, I'll probably put something else uh, f uh, that I had stashed on my computer uh uh, in front of that. So, uh, yeah, Electrify Solid and with the Pearl and the Hybrid, all three of those put together are probably going to be the next one after I put this Idle Synergy Part 2 out there. That's the way it's <clears throat> that's the way I plan on having it. So if anything comes up uh, that uh, that causes me to have to you know change things up, I will let you guys know that obviously. So there you go. Uh, that's it. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you very much.